Hello, welcome. This is Kenshin1913, and we are starting a brand new Let's Play from Ubisoft. Well, I don't remember if it, they're very friendly to Let's Plays, but this game is old enough that it probably won't bother me. And yeah, this took me a couple tries to get going. I thought I had it right, and then I didn't have it right, and now I think I have it right. So yes, this is Let's Play Prince of Persia Sands of Time. This game came out in 2003. I am playing the PS2 version. Uh, yeah. This game's really good. I know I probably could have played, like, a HD version, but I figured I'd play the original. And, uh, yeah, this is gonna be a casual game. I'm not gonna go for all the secrets and all that stuff, because I honestly don't know where all of them are. I loved this game back when it came out. Uh, I think it's really amazing. Most people think time is like a river that flows swift and sure in one direction. But I have seen the face of time, and I can tell you, they are wrong. Time is an ocean in a storm. You may wonder who I am and why I say this. Sit down, and I will tell you a tale like none that you have ever heard. Know first that I am the son of Sharam, a mighty king of Persia. On our way to Azad with a small company of men who passed through India. <coughs> where the promise of honor and glory tempted my father into a grievous error. Now, my son. Do you think I felt regret as I gazed upon the destruction we had wrought? Or at least humility at the speed with which a world can be transformed from a good world into a hell? If you think so, you are mistaken. For in that moment I thought of one thing only. The honor and glory I would bring my father by fighting like a warrior in my first battle. Okay, so yeah, we play as the prince here. We use the left analog stick and the right to move the right analog stick to move around or move the camera. And uh, yeah, this game is really, really amazing. I love the shit out of it. I don't really care too much for the sequels. Whoa! Oh, they're dead. Wowee! Holy shit! But yeah, this game still looks pretty good even on the PS2. I mean, I am using an emulator that uh. So yeah, run to the edge, press X, and you jump. But yeah, I'm using an emulator, so I'm able to make it look even better. So anyways, uh, there's a lot of awesome mechanics in this game, like this one. You hold R1 and it run up the wall, you hit X and you jump up the wall. And then over here you can hit L R2 to go to first person mode, or L2 to go to landscape mode, like they say, and then you can zoom in with the right analog stick. So that's pretty cool. So over here you gotta, uh, what I like to do is, yeah, no, that's not what I like to do. So if you hold R1 as you run across there, or R, yeah, it's R1, you can do a little runny over across the thing. And you take out your sword with uh, X, and 
and swing with X. We'll get into the battle mechanics pretty soon. But yeah, this game is really amazing. It was made, what, like 13 years ago now? Piece of, it's a work of art, to be honest. It's probably a perfect game. It's that good. Alright. So yeah, now they're gonna draw your sword. And you can smash these things. There we go. Uh-oh, there's a dude here. Our first battle. Hello, sir. So you hit square, and then you hold R1 to block. And the left analog stick dodges. Although I don't know how to... I'm trying to remember how to dodge, but... Whoa. Yeah, this guy's got armor on the front, so he won't take as much damage in the back. But there you go, we beat him, and he apparently just melts into the ground. These guys are that magical. Oh. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah, so if you if you hit X, you can actually jump behind the guy and hit him. And there we go. We did that with a little bit of damage, but I actually, to be honest, I took damage on purpose, so I can come over here. Many men that day sought to win honor and glory on the battlefield. That their king might say to them, as Khosrow said to Rustam, You are the noblest of my warriors. From the moment my sword tasted blood, I knew this would not be my way. I would win my father's praise, not by killing, but by being the first to find the Maharaja's treasure vault mm -hmm. and the wonders within. Alright, cool. So, in order to, well, we pretty much to restore your health, you drink water in this game. Which is pretty cool, especially considering this is a desert area. And that, uh, desert areas are... They don't have a lot of water. So it's vital. Anyways, as you can see, this castle is being besieged. And there's a lot of dudes down there. This game kind of, like... It doesn't really hold your hand in the as aspect of it, of, uh, hey, where to go. It kind of guides you a little bit, which is good. So anyways, we can run over this wall over here. And check out these barrels, but I'm pretty sure there's nothing in it. But yeah, this game was awesome when it first came out. I remember it being on, I don't know if you guys remember G4. There was a show called Judgment Day. That had Vic... Victor Lucas and uh, Tommy Tallarico, and they had a they had a thing about this game, and they were talking about how amazing it was. And then I was looking at it, and I'm like, wow, this game's awesome. And I really like it how fluid everything is in this game. And that's what I think is probably one of the best parts about it is the fluidity of how the prince moves and stuff. And it was just really, really amazing. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, and since we've already done this, I've already explained how to do that. Run along the wall, which is amazing. And I guess this is based off the original Prince of Persia, but not really, I guess. I don't know. I never really played the original Prince of Persia games. I actually started off with this game. And, uh, yeah, I really liked it, but like I said, I only played this one. But, uh, hello, guys. Uh-oh. Hmm. Boom. Whoa, yeah, showing off their cool side. No, 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 ow. This game isn't heavily combat based. I mean, there's a lot of battles and stuff, but I think the next game, The Warrior Within, really like focuses on 
combat more than anything. But they knew what they were doing with this game. Whoopsie. Whoops. No, no, that's not what happened. Damn right, that's not what happened. Well, I start way back here. And yeah, if you've already gone through the narration, they don't go through it again. And yeah, you can skip after you do whatever, you can actually skip. Yeah. I have such a fun time playing this game. This game's so much fun. Anyways, I decided to play like a short game because, you know, uh, I needed to. There we go. I just needed a short game. This one isn't gonna be too long. I'm trying not to start. Whoa, 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 whoa! Damn it! I'm trying not to start anything like too major, like a wait, uh, wait, wait. like a like an R like a big RPG, just because. Uh, what is it? Because uh, well, there's a uh, there's a video on it. I mean, I I think I explained it in the video. So I don't want to start anything any super big projects. For the month of April because I'm going to be going away in May, in case you didn't watch it. So I figured I'd just play, plus I'm getting, a, I figured I'd play a shorter game, plus the fact that I'm getting a game ready for when I go on vacation. Boom. Oh no! Oh dear lord. Wait. Sorry. I thought someone was walking behind me. I got afraid. And I'm not blaming that on why I lost there. Alright, let's do this. Sorry. This shouldn't be this hard. Pretty much we're in, like, standard, uh... Standard issue... You know, standard issue... Oh... There you go. Standard issue, obligatory, you know, like, tutorial stuff here, and I'm screwing it up big time. But yeah, how good was this game? I'll talk more about it as we go. They did try to make a movie on it, and, uh, it wasn't good. Actually, I never saw it, so I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah, but I had Jake Gyllenhaal. And I'm not saying he isn't... I'm not saying that he's a bad actor, but, like, like, Jake Gyllenhaal for The Prince of Persia just doesn't make any sense to me. Oh, you can grab the column, right. And you're going to be doing wall jumps like this. Right, right, right. Classic Batman stuff. Boom! Take you down. And pretty much after every little fight thing, you gotta you gotta uh, do like the whole thing. No, 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 no. There we go. You wanna get over here? And jump there. And then jump there. And then climb. And then jump there. Ta da! Shall I continue my story from here the next time we're interrupted? Yes, thank you. 
So yeah, this is a standard save point. Done. I'll stop the story from here next time. Uh, yeah, I guess this is technically a checkpoint or something. Then you hit X, and you jump. Bam, look at how awesome this prince is, huh? He's fast, and he's good. Look at that. And there it lay, just out of reach. The Dagger of Time. Ooh, there was a treasure I could carry with pride as a trophy of our victory. If I could only get there. Boom. All right, here we go, dagger. Oh, it's, you gotta go through this thing here, huh? All right, fair enough. Okay. Nope, I wanna, there we go, perfecto. Whee! Alright. I think there are some walls you can bust down. I don't remember. Anyways, here we are. They kind of show you, like, what you gotta do. And I think that's reminiscent of the uh, original game with the spinny spike pull thing. Luckily, this is an easy one. Oh, yeah, so here's all kinds of water. And yeah, you can't really run up these water things here. Hmm, let's see, what do I gotta do? Oh, up here. Oh, come on, man. I just did, you know what, I did it a little late. There we go. And so you can jump from one thingy to the other thingy. Just hold the analog stick. Now watch out for these thingies. Okay, I see what I gotta do. Run over here. And then jump there. Whee! Okay, now what? Alright, so... Alright, that was not what I had to do. Whoopsie! That didn't happen. Okay. Oh, I have to go along the side there. Is that what I gotta do? Oh no. Here we go. Hmm. Point the left analog stick. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, there's a pole. Oh boy, poles. Yeah, this one is a little tricky. These poles are tricky.
No, 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 no. Run up the thing. Come on, Princey. There we go. So we gotta do a Batman. Nope. And then do that. There we go. Over here. Boom. 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 And here we are. The Dagger of Time. This starts the the main game mechanic in this game. I had what I came for. It was time to get out. Now. Yes, so this starts the main game mechanic, but we'll actually have to deal with that in the next episode. This has been Kenshin1913. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.